Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of my Burning Baltics campaign in Stir Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Just want to say before we start, a big thanks to all the support on the new format videos with the face cam. I know some of you guys aren't as happy about it, but what I plan to do about that is basically just a poll at the end of the campaign and we can decide whether or not we want to keep the new format or go back to the old format for future campaigns. That's the plan. Uh, but in the meantime, keep liking the videos because we've had a lot of likes on these campaign videos and it really helps me out. So definitely keep that up. But anyway, moving back to the campaign. First Battalion of the 380th Infantry Regiment is under attack. We're going to be defending with them. They are going to have bunkers, so it's going to be a really fun breakthrough defensive battle. We're going to bring in the 2nd Battalion to help them out, and also the 3rd Battalion of the 273rd Infantry Regiment. They're going to be coming in in Phase C. They're going to have the 806th, 935th, and the 801st Rifle Regiments coming at us. And they're also going to have the 39th Guards Mortar Regiment, which has Katyushas. So that's going to be something we're going to have to watch out for. They have a lot of those. That's 24 Katyushas. And then they have the 235th Rifle Division as well in Phase B. That's the HQ section there. Now, just bear in mind that one of their Rifle Regiments is the equivalent to three of my battalions. So we are severely outnumbered. <laughs> But we do have an ace up our sleeve, and that is Air Force. So we're going to be bringing in at least one of our F units, but we only have two choices. The third recon group, which has the Focke Wolf 190s with the Focke Wolf bombers and the BF 109G8s. But we also have the first close support wing, which of course we're going to bring. These has has the, a, the JU 87s uh, with the fantastic payloads. So yeah, we're going to be bringing those in. They're going to be helping us out. Let's jump into the tactical battle, set it to player control, and jump on it. And here we are on our breakthrough map. So we are going to be deploying quite far forwards, of course, since this is breakthrough. But I do have my defenses to place down, all of these bunkers, and that might take me a little while. So do bear with me while I do that, and I'll be back with you in just a second. My defenses are all set up, so let's quickly go through them before we start the battle. We have the MG42 bunker on the left-hand side here with the Pac-37. The Pac-37 bunkers, they have 1,250 meter range. So they're going to be able to kill things pretty quickly at short range since they have a relatively good rate of fire. Then I've got these grenadiers that are actually going to be in trenches at the bottom of this hill. We've also put a bit of barbed wire on the hill so that if they're running down the hill, that gets, they get slowed and therefore can get shot at by the MG more, get shot by the grenadiers more. Same deal here, uh, we've got these Grenadiers in trenches as well. These Grenadiers are just going to be using uh, heavy cover. I need to make sure that that guy is in heavy cover. There we go. Uh, then we have the Pac-37 again, short range engagement with the MG42. There's going to be the Grenadier there. Uh, I've got another Grenadier here in a trench. These two Grenadiers are in trenches. That one's in a trench. AT guns spread out. These Pac-75s are set up to like crisscross this road. So. This Pac-75 is aiming down this way, and this one is aiming this way. A little bit of a crossfire there towards the crossroads, uh, which will allow us to take out transports at a distance. Then the MG-42 can open up on stuff at a distance, and also anything that comes through the swamp. I am probably going to need to support this with like a IG or something at range, but we'll do that later on when I have a little bit more points. I do have an IG up here on the hill that's going to be helping at range with infantry, and same with Pac-40 on the left that's going to be helping at range. Uh, there, I've got an IG that's going to be helping in the open across this area with MG42s that are going to be covering the left and right side. Don't really have anything to cover this tree line, which is a bit risky, uh, but we can bring in some more stuff later on. Got some grenadiers, including one that's going to actually run up here and cheekily take this flag. I've got Pack 40 that's covering here with the Pack 50 as well, MG42. Uh, these grens are chilling here with a trench, and there's also going to be some barbed wire here to prevent the units running out at the 100 meter range and attacking the Grens really fast. So uh, it's going to give them a chance to fire at them. MG42 and Pack 50 up on this hill. Now think about it, they probably shouldn't be so close together. Let me just move that. There we go, much better. I <laughs> just moved it over to the right a little bit. We've got the Grenadiers here. These are going to be chilling in these trenches. Uh, to shoot across the right hand side. This area, they'll probably try and push this with infantry. I didn't want to put any trenches in here because they can be shot at from the left, 
and I don't want to be up in this heavy cover because that allows them to get close to us. So I decided to deploy on the left hand side here with the barbed wire that's going to stop them from moving right to left and I also put barbed wire around the tree line so that these units, these grenadiers can fire at any units that come through there as well as these grenadiers that are set up in the open in this trench network and then there's also the pack 37 that's going to be shooting enemy vehicles at short range. I've also at long range got the IG-18 for HE and the IG-33 here and that is it. I've also got some JU-87s at the start but let's launch the battle and we'll wait for the enemies to arrive as I speed up the game. I'm just going to have the JU-87 come out uh, with all of the bombers at the start here and I have started to see some enemies so the pack 50 bunker should be able to fire away and get us a couple of kills. A couple of these jeeps already dead already killed one on the road here as well but the main thing that we're going to be looking for is the Katyushas. Now this is the reason that I moved the bunker on the right here to spread out a little bit more because I don't want those Katyushas to kill my uh, bunkers too quickly because otherwise that would be obviously pretty bad. I do also need to kill this OB because otherwise that's going to kill my pack 75 so we'll take that out. OBs are actually really bad for our bunkers because they have 1,500 meter range which outranges for example the MG42 here well, actually this one's in range of the MG42 so that's not as bad but it is going to pin down the MG42 bonker before it can pin down the OB so I am going to still have to bomb it but at least we killed off a couple of the OBs the OBs are one of the scariest units we actually have to deal with early on the snipers are also going to be kind of annoying for my uh, AT bunkers but not necessarily for the MG bunker as long as I make sure the MG bunker focuses it down so it looks like my JU-87 actually failed the bombing strike onto the OB here, probably because it's on the edge of the hill, which is annoying because my MG-42 bunker is probably going to die. We'll turn off the gun for now so it doesn't reveal itself. That should allow us the time to kill the OB. And then we can open up onto any other units. Good. In the meantime, I am just going to buy in more bombers and we'll just keep bombing stuff. Here come the bombing strikes. We have the JU-87 D5 here. Going for one of the ZIS 3s that they're deploying at the back. We just kind of want to cut down on some of that artillery early on. There's also this JU-87 that's going to be going for this Katyusha that we've seen. I can also gun run them with the JU-87. But I think I might gun run this uh, Dushka truck in the meantime actually. Because if these build up they can start to pin down our units. Which obviously I don't want to happen. So we will just strafe that and try and take it out. Here go the bombing strikes. Always fun to watch a Stuka dive. There we go and we got the kill. Next, this one. And job done. Lovely. Loads of Dushka trucks here, but there is a Katyusha on that left side, so we're going to want to take that out. I'm going to hit all of these Dushka trucks with these JU-87s, because I think it's pretty important that we take them out if they're all going to group up like that. MG-42 bunker here. Absolutely annihilating the infantry in the open here they're all crawling forwards look at them they're like ants crawling down the side of the cliff there actually looks really cool oops I accidentally cancelled the JU-87 bombing strike on this right hand side I am gonna bomb the Maxim and the sniper to stop them from pinning down that bunker and on this left hand side, I think I'm actually going to bring in an IG, maybe, or actually another pack 40 to help, as well as a supply truck to keep the HE high on this pack 40, because that's going to probably use up a lot of HE. So currently choosing to bring in the JU-87s with the 500 kilogram bomb and the two 250 kilogram bombs, it's like the biggest payload we can get. There's also a good payload, the 500 kilogram bomb with the 450 kilogram bombs. That's actually a very nice payload as well because it's really good at killing infantry squads and also support weapons very quickly. Uh, this one will just kill anything though, <laughs> the 500 and two 250s. It's really good. Just going to bring in another supply truck here for the pack 40 as that's getting low on HE already and we're definitely going to want to keep using that. It might get Katyusha eventually, but it's totally fine. We will have to kind of be okay with some of our stuff getting Katyusha. I'm just looking for another MG that I can place to help out this MG bunker. Because there is a lot of infantry coming this direction. 
I might also place an MG over here to help with these Strauki, but we'll bomb these ones in the meantime, so that gives me time to get an MG there. And we'll actually bomb the middle one so that it kills the others in the process. I've found a Catchuja on the left hand side, so we'll take that out before it fires. And I'm probably also going to want to take out what I assume are mortars here on the left hand side. It looks like uh, this three, another two of those. The AI loves to use this threes as artillery. Uh, these all of the. And this is all of the Dishkas, so we're going to take them out. And we'll go ahead and bomb another one of those Andrushas back there. We'll fly this J87 away from the Dishkas so that it doesn't get forced to fall back. So one thing I will say is make sure that you do give like shift V orders to your bombers when you're bringing them in in this case because we're not dealing with enemy fighters it's okay to like auto evac your planes because you'll want them to reload basically as quickly as possible that should kill a lot of those Dushka trucks at least for us that's good and we'll go ahead and bomb that Andrusha right now that those are gone we can bring our J87 back with the recon and find some more targets but so far so good just mowing down plenty of infantry in the open pack 50 has been pinned down here might bring up a couple of grenadiers to help deal with those i could also just bomb them for the time being but i don't think that's that important although my grens here have been found so i'm gonna have to bomb on this left side let's bring in some more so we have let them go 19 to 5 that's not ideal i want to keep it at 21 to 3 ideally because the total victory allows it to tick down faster which means we don't have to deal with their phase b units or their phase c units for that matter uh, which if they do come in could be <laughs> a pretty insane battle <laughs> let's just put it that way we don't want it to go that long so we're going to have to come in and just bomb that sniper. Any of these snipers that like attack us from range are just really not good for us. We've got to make sure that we take them out ASAP. They've actually decided to bring in a supply truck for the Stroke DP here. They must have been running out of ammo firing at this 50 mil. One great thing about bunkers in this game is they do really soak up light arms fire. Found another catch is on this left hand side. We're going to go ahead and try and bomb that. Let's see if this J87 can do the job. Here it comes. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. That was almost perfect. I'm going to bring in a couple of pioneers to back up this grenadier on this flag. We do get the major defeat in six minutes at the moment, which is really good. We have moved into phase B, so they are going to have at least one set of their reinforcements. But as long as we can keep it at the 20 flags, yeah, we'll go down to 6 minutes. It's really important that we hold on to this. In fact, I'm going to bomb on the far side here. Okay, the Grenadier's running across the bridge. The JU-87's coming in. Will it get there in time? Being attacked by the Dushkas, we'll hit them with a JU-87. Big bombing strike. <laughs> nice. Okay, so the Pioneers are coming in. They're going to have to help us out here. Although we are getting Kachu, should let's just make sure we target that with our JU87. It's going to do quite a lot of damage. That Grenadier still survives. Wow. Lucky man. Oh no. Two Kachu is on this left side going for my MG42 bunker. That's really bad. Okay, we're going to have to get another MG over here. We do have the IG thankfully further back, so that should cover us for the time being. Uh, that Kanaya is getting really close to my MG, that's not good. Another one firing. It's in the same place as the other. That's okay. I need to get my JU87 recon out again. Do I have another one of those? No. So it looks like this area got catch-issued as well. The pack bunker got destroyed, but the MG42 bunker is still there, so that's okay. I did lose another grenadier. Well, I lost two grenadiers here, probably due to Katyushas again. There is a lot of stuff coming in. Wow. That is not good. 
So I just set up a bunch of bombing strikes at the back there. We're just going to have to keep focusing down any of these that we find. Strafe the snipers with the Bok Wolf. That will be helpful. And we're definitely going to want to start bombing some of this infantry. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff coming right now. We're going to want them to fall back as well. So much artillery. Oh, they've got Maxim 4Ms as well. We're going to want to bomb them. My bunker surrendered. No. All right, let's bring in some more stuff. I'm actually going to bring in these. And we're going to deploy them on the edge of the hill here. And we can use those to attack at range onto a lot of these units. I could also bring in another IG here. That would be very useful. And we're going to want to get maybe a couple pioneers or something in here. Have the J87 kill that. And we're going to want to kill that Katusha on the left. Make sure I've got the rest of my planes in. Okay. Now we can really get to work with these bombers. Let's just put loads of bombing strikes in here just to kill as many of these squads as possible. They are down to Avtos already, it looks like. Oh, that's like mid-firing. We're going to take it out. It's not going to get all its rockets down. Oh, wow. All of these units are getting smashed back here. Bringing some more reinforcements to this town ASAP. Big bombing strikes, though. We'll hold them back for the time being. Oh, they're getting really close to my MG42 bunker. We're going to want to try and stop them surrendering that. That would be really bad if they did. On the right-hand side, my Grens are getting absolutely <laughs> wrecked by these Kachoshas. We'll keep that on return fire now because if they open up, they're going to get themselves killed. Oh, nice kills though onto the Kachoshas. We're going to kill those Avtos, hopefully. Very good. And here, I think my guys are running out of ammunition. Yeah, <laughs> my Grens are actually out of ammunition. That's not good. Yeah, they're going to have to fall back. We're going to lose that point, but it's okay. Four minutes left. This is going to be close. Like, you might think, oh, it's 19 to 5 right now, but if they start taking more flags, that ticker goes up. Like, they're going to have more time. And then the more time they have... So the closer we get to phase C, and in phase C, they have a lot of units because they have another entire rifle regiment that's going to be able to attack us. So, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> this is a lot of troops coming. This could really get out of hand. I need to hurry up and bomb a lot of this stuff. That looks like that's a Katusha. There's a Katusha here. another Katusha there we want to take out. So many Katushas. I should probably be hitting the Katushas with the cluster. Two Katushas there. Another couple Katushas there. Another one here. They really want to go for my artillery. Wow. I mean at least it's acting as a good distraction because I don't really need it in future battles probably. Oh crikey this has been a battle. Two minutes left at the moment. Can we hold on? It could certainly go bad any second. Just gotta keep these bombing strikes coming. Make sure that these are evacuating after they do. Good. This IG is helping out a ton on this right hand side. That grenadier is m very dead. These grenadiers are actually out of ammo. Oh dear. Uh, let's bring these back to an ammo truck. Oh, there's another Katusha on the left there. I swear I keep bombing them and they just keep bringing them in. It's like they just replaced them. It's, they have so many. Okay, the j 87 is dead. Oh, not dead. Bombed. That's fine. Good. Uh, how have they not killed this yet? Or surrendered it? That's nuts. That's being arted. So we move it back. We've got one minute remaining. Can we hold on? Can we hold on? Any more? Any more? That's a Dushka. We'll just go and hit that with a JU-87. I'm going to strafe these two units. We'll bomb those on the ridge. K-47 
killed so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, but there's still more. That's the most ridiculous thing about this right now. There's still more. We have moved into phase C, so they've got loads of units coming in, like actually tons. We should definitely be investing in more stuff ourselves. We do actually have our own phase C units. So we'll bring in another IG here. I should have another IG-33. That would be really useful over here, I think. I like where this pack 40 is. Uh, unless, hmm, maybe I could put it further to the left. Oh, I don't need to. Good. Okay. Phew. We won. Very good. 21 minutes, <laughs> 55 seconds. That was <laughs> an intense, an intense battle. 276 kills, 7 losses. I thought it was way worse than that. <laughs> These bunkers... Should have done pretty well, and they did. Thankfully, it looks like we killed quite a lot of stuff for it unloaded. J87's seriously saving our bacon there. That was nuts. That MG42 getting a lot of kills as well. Wow. That was incredible. The IGs actually came in really clutch. I'm surprised they didn't get Katyusha, though. And then losses? I mean... That was fantastic. So there we go. We only lost four Grenadiers, one MG42, and two Gunfielders. And they lost 18 Snipers, 30 Stroke DP, 23 Stroke, 4 OBs, 46 Avtos, 24 Katyushas. They lost all of their Katyushas. We killed every single one. Very good. Very good. So we hold there and we disorganize them, so that is fantastic. Now we're just going to watch the rest of their turn, so I'm just going to speed it up and we'll let them do their thing. Alright, straight back to our turn. They didn't decide to attack us anywhere in the end. Uh, so yeah, just moved up their troops on the right hand side here towards our wall. Uh, we of course disorganized all of these units, so <laughs> they are in tatters, which is great. Uh, they just kind of reinforced a little bit towards Tukums with these units, and they moved more units towards Jelagava as well, and put up AA there, so I'm going to have to be careful of that. There's also AA here as well now, uh, but I don't think that's going to matter too much for this turn because I'm probably not going to be able to attack them anyway. Uh, these units, however, I think are completely isolated, so we can destroy them to begin with. Let's go ahead and do that. Blow that up. And uh, not do that, <laughs> but blow this up. We can actually use that one to attack there. That's fine. I mean, we're probably going to move up in their face anyway, so I'm not too concerned about the positioning of my unit there. But yeah, they're going to all be dead. That's great. Okay, next up, we'll go from top left again. So top left down to the bottom here and to the right-hand side. I think what we're going to do around Tukums is we're going to attack this 2nd Battalion of the 151st Guard Tower Artillery Brigade so that we can actually take the flag uh, from them. So this shouldn't take too long. We have a very, very strong bunch of units here, including the uh, SS Armored Recon Battalion of the Gross Deutschland. Their units, they only have Vizivod Artillerists. They actually don't have any AT, so I can just run them down. Uh, with the SBW-231s, for example, and any Alfkala that come in with uh, armor of some sort, like these ones with the 222s. So let's just click to prepare battle. And honestly, I could just do the SS Armored Recon Battalion now I think about it. Because they should be able to deal with that on their own. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we are. It should be a pretty simple attack. We just need to put down these SBW-231s. The only thing I need to be careful of is holding the front line because it is a recon group. So we are going to have to bring in like my leaders basically uh, to do that for me. Otherwise we just lose because I can't take any ground. So we'll bring in all of these Panzer gun fuel. It's super important they don't die though. So that would be really bad. Uh, but with all this recon, we should be able to carve a path 
And I can also bring in like the elf colors in the two two tiers that can charge forwards as well. Okay, so I set them up just with attack orders. All of these are armored, so they should be fine. The AA or the enemy has no uh, AT, so yeah, we're okay. I just got to be careful with my Panzer Gunfuhrer to make sure that they don't die as I move up. And technically, the big guns like this 152 can kill my vehicles here with direct shots, so I do need to be a little bit careful of that. But otherwise, all good. Oh, we're taking them out pretty fast here. I'm just going to keep it sped up. <laughs> we're going to just keep killing these. Enemy is crumbling already. It's great. Yeah, the 222s here, they just annihilate these artillery pieces very easy. And any new ones that are coming in will just kill with the... <laughs> Two, three ones as well. They won't stand a chance at close range. Just adding more two, two, two. Just to rush to the other side of the map. I've also brought in a couple of these SDK of Z11s or uh, seven ones, sorry, uh, with the flag fillings on the back because they're really good for just holding the front line as well in this deck or division. Technically, it's a battalion, but whatever. <laughs> Mowing down another one. So 222 coming up to help. I'm not unloading the Alpha Baller because they're actually vulnerable to the 152s. But what I am going to want to do is get these Panzergun Fjellow forwards ASAP and also the SDK Z71s because I need to capture at least 21 flags. Otherwise, I don't think we destroy them. I don't want to just disorganize them, we want to get rid of them for good. Because we want to be able to actually capture the flag. Running out to see if we find any more troops over here. But that's it. 10 seconds till victory. And with it sped up, that's job done. Alright, 7 minutes, 37 seconds, 54 kills, 0 losses. Lovely jubbly. 16 of their artillery pieces dead. And boom. And we've taken two comes. There we go. So, uh, what we'll do now is, I think we can reinforce from here. Uh, unfortunately, not yet. It's the same as the <laughs> the Nord Nordland side of things. And they can't actually reinforce yet. So, we'll bring up our SS Infantry Battalion right next to the AA here. Along with the SS Panzer Battalion Gross Deutschland. And uh, these boys can just mix in there as well. Can we actually get these together this turn? I wonder. Maybe if I do this. Nice. That's good. We've managed to get around those. This... Ooh. That got bombarded. I didn't see that. That's not good, because it means that they're going to be able to attack it. But we're in a pretty good position on the stop side, having connected our fronts already through Tukums. Uh, but unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we will continue to the final objective of this campaign. We've already got two. We've got Tukums. We've got uh, this one down here. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. And now all we need to do is take Delgava. If they take their AA down again, I might go for the attack, assuming that they don't bombard my unit here. Uh, and that might just be it. We'll see. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.